Hi, mm, today we will add uh, gravity to our scenes and we will uh, animate through this force uh, some of the objects in our scene. First, uh, I will create a bubble like uh, geometry. So I will use just half of the sphere. And I will rotate this one. I will add, uh, I will convert this to editable poly. And I will delete the first part and I will make this part also a bit more flat. I will add a shell to our geometry. So this will act uh, like a bubble. If you want, you can also add a turbo smooth, but uh, I guess the details are quite fine for, for mine. So I will also convert this to editable poly. I will place this somewhere above the mm, our grid because this will act uh, like the floor. Uh, it will be by default the floor, but you can also change the floor if you want. I will have uh, maybe some mm, some spheres which will be uh, which will act like uh, apples, so I will create smaller spheres. So this should be complete spheres. So these small spheres should be mm, should have zero here because uh, I had some problems. So this, these would be like uh, some apples. So I will create just one and then make copy out of them. So in order to have uh, gravity in our scenes, uh, we need to add. Uh, a mass modifier to them. So this is mass fx rigid body modifier. You can also right click to our menu bar and uh, select the mass fx toolbar here. So in either way it will be the same. So you can also use a separate toolbar for that as well. As you see, when we just clicked, uh, it just added some, um, some details to our object. First, we need to uh, define the body type. So if it is static, it won't uh, be animated. So we need to select dynamic. This is our mesh. You can use a preset material properties, or you can also give those materials uh, features also manually. For us, it's as we are just having 
a few objects, it's not really important. So this is our uh, shape, sphere one. And we need to also define whether this uh, shape is sphere, box, capsule, concave or convex. As this is a bowl which is empty inside, so we need to select the concave option. And it will also generate uh, meshes for the uh, simulation. Maybe we don't need that much mesh, so 10% will be enough for us. So I will click generate. And it will generate uh, the physical, uh, the vertices for the uh, physics. Well, physics. We need to most of the time improve the fitting. So now we see it has a better option mm, of our geometry. We will do the same to this object as well. You can either add a modifier here or you can also go here and set selected as dynamic rigid body. It's the same. So you see that it creates the same thing. So this is the dynamic body. Uh, it can be the same material for us. Now it's not really important. But this, um, for this time, the shape is a sphere. So we can just select sphere for that. So we not we don't need to generate new meshes because it understands how a sphere is. Uh, being calculated. If we have uh, other forces that will act uh, on those objects, we can also add them here. But for now, we will just use the um, just use uh, the gravity as the only force. So uh, if you go down and go to the advanced, you will see that. Uh, the gravity is already mm -hmm, applied. So if you have a wind force or other forces, you can also add them here. But for our uh, first uh, tutorial, it's not really that much important. So I will copy a few more of these apples. And I will place them a bit uh, in different ways. And I would like to have some more bowls, so I will also copy these as well. I will take them a bit higher, so they are above our floor. Mm, probably I will need some more uh, keys, that's why I will adjust my uh, the number of the keyframes I will have. So let's say I, have, I need 300 frames. And now I can animate or simulate those objects. When we go to the toolbar, uh, we can click this, this menu, which is the mm, Mass FX Tools menu. And uh, we can maybe first simulate those objects. So they just fine. Mm. I guess at some point, at like here, the animation stops. We can reset the simulation. So I can just have 200 frames. I don't need more. Uh, when I click to bake all, uh, this animation will be baked on our, uh, on our 
animation timeline. So then I can use it also as an animation. So I will do this. You see that now it's uh, in our toolbar and such kind of animation could be used as an animation tool. So um, it could be just that you would like to have a scene like this, but most of the time it is used that to have uh, a more natural scene. So it's if I would just uh, put those uh, bowl like uh, geometries on top of each other, it would look like very uh, symmetric and very ordered. But if I just uh, simulate them like this, uh, it will be more uh, natural. So if you, for example, just want to use it as a uh, as a decoration in, in, in one of your scenes, it will be good to use uh, gravity to, um, to place your objects, because then it will look uh, more natural. Uh, there are so many options, so just explore all the details here and uh, try to maybe use it also in your uh, final animations. Thank you.